Hi, this is Greg Johnson with Blue Book Services. I'm joined today by Rod Braga, President and CEO of Braga Farms, and he's out in his field this morning, and he's going to talk a little bit about how harvesting and uh, the production side has changed a little during the pandemic. Rod, I see you're a little less recognizable than you would normally be. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, the hairnet and the mask, right? Exactly. So uh, can you just explain, well, first of all, what are you in a field of today? So this is a romaine heart field, an organic romaine heart field that we're harvesting. And if you can see behind me, uh, usually we'd have 12 cutters. And I think there's about five right now so that they can be spaced out uh, more than six feet. And that's why you can kind of see some romaine left. And then where I'm standing, it's been harvested. So what we're doing is we're harvesting half of this big bed at a time and then coming around and, and harvesting the other half. Okay. And then what are some other things that you guys have changed about the process during the pandemic in order to follow the various rules? Right. So from starting off, it was uh, probably the easiest thing to do by following, uh, keeping people set would be here in the field, like I just mentioned. Since these are beds are 80 inches, which is six foot, 10 feet apart, it was easy enough before you had two people per, and now it's one. So that keeps them six feet, 10 inches apart as best we can. And then they have to set the romaine up there to where the packer is. There used to be uh, about uh, eight of those. Now there's like three or four. And then up on the top of the, of the, of the machine, there used to be um, twice as many as you see up there right now. So what we've done is we've taken this uh, team of people that when the crew used to be 25 to 30 people, and we separated them into two machines, right? So that's split the crews in half. Luckily, we had enough machines to do that. Otherwise, we'd be working at night, I guess, for half the crews on each machine. The other things we've done, especially you know, with food safe, safety, of course, we always had our gloves and we always had the hair nets. We, of course, added the masks. Um, and then having the spacing in the field, that keeps us apart while they're doing their work as best we can. And we kind of realized right off the bat that at our break time, that's where we had some vulnerabilities because of the fact that we have these crew tables where it was meant to be social, where everyone would get together and you could fit about 20, 25 people on one of these shaded crew tables. Um, we've had this since uh, each table can only uh, facilitate eight people. We've put a, a divider in the middle, um, which then, uh, so that we're not, you know, we're not, you can't uh, uh, breathe on people across from you. Um, and we've put spots in each all those tables where they could be. We've had to um, take some of our crew buses that might uh, hold 36 or 40 people. And now, uh, now because of spacing, they can only um, transport eight of the team members. So these are just some of the things we've also implemented at each and every crew. We've added a new employee uh, team member, which only focus is to sanitize the restrooms uh, continuously during the day, the door handles, um, every touch point, the crew tables to wipe everything down, the buses or the vans that they're coming in. So this is just some of the things that we've done. And then by kind of uh, sounds like doubling the the uh, the area and um, equipment you're using, you're able to keep your efficiency similar to where it was before. Real close. I mean, these uh, our team members and our four four people out here are so good at at, at trying to uh, maintain what the people were the team members were earning before, which because a lot of them out here they end up uh, getting piece rate. So this crew yesterday, I was just informed, made about twenty two dollars an hour. We're trying to keep that rate for them. So as we do the separation, of course, we're trying to figure out how to keep them so they can keep that piece rate going so that they can have their earnings to take home to their family. You know, we've, by adding uh, tractor drivers, uh, which are outside of their uh, piece rate crew, you know, we've had to do some of those things and, and keeping the um, doubling and tripling almost uh, the, the restroom facilities and the, and the tables where they can break. You know, we're breaking at different times so that we don't assemble all together too much. Um, so the efficiencies are, are kind of there because we have the machinery. Um, and so that seems to be working out okay. So this kind of seems like this will be the, basically the new process going forward indefinitely. Is that, is that right? You know, that's, that's what we're working on right now. The assumption is that exactly. Um, I believe that we're going to have to have this distance thing for quite a while. So we're just, uh, even though we have enough machinery now, we're building more. Um, we're building more. Uh, the portable restroom facilities that we have were, like I said, I think we had 60 crew trailers that where they would take breaks before, which were like uh, shaded picnic tables, if you will, uh, on wheels. Uh, we thought 60 was a lot, and now we're trying to trying to get up to maybe 200 of them. 
That's a big change. Well, I, I really appreciate you joining us today and showing our viewers what, what the changes are going through and that you're still producing at a, a high level and it looks like some great romaine you're standing in. It is, and I think all the, really everything goes to our, our team members, uh, especially the, the team that's out here doing the harvesting. Uh, this, this, this group of, 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 of our team out here, they start you know, at five o'clock in the morning on these romaine harvests, they have light, they like to get done before the day gets going too much. So the amount of work that they're putting in, um, the amount of effort that they've uh, really uh, energized our company with, it makes us want to continue to invest in everything that we can do to make their um, work day better and safe. Yeah, it looks like you're doing it. And uh, I, I, that's a good message for the industry. It's a, it's a learning experience. And I mean, we just, it's every, every day, it's kind of, we wake up and we think that we've, we've forgotten something. We want to continue to, we can improve on this or improve on something else. So it's a learning experience, but we're just going to, we're just going to keep going forward. All right. Well, I appreciate you joining us and, and showing us uh, how you're doing it. Thanks a lot, Thank Ryan. you very much, Greg. Thank you. Thank you very much.